So the main reason why scrutiny is likely only to continue to increase is because those, the groups that are driving that scrutiny are not looking to cut back all of these emissions just a little bit. They're not looking to have marginal reductions in each area. They're looking to cut back fossil fuel consumption as close to zero as possible, as quickly as possible. So many times I find that Canadians are surprised by how absurdly popular, for example, the Keystone XL pipeline is in the United States. So as you can see from this chart, in the United States, the Keystone XL pipeline is favored by 75% of Americans. So that makes a proposal to put a steel pipe in the ground and run oil through it more popular than almost any US politician. Which is, is, so, which is a little bit shocking, but what it indicates is the opposition to Keystone XL and the scrutiny on the oil sands is coming from those small groups on the far right of that chart. So all the people that think greenhouse gases are a problem, we should have some more regulation of, of them, we should have marginally more regulation, they already support the Keystone XL pipeline. The opposition is really driven by the groups that are looking to cut all these sources down to zero as quickly as possible. Well, then you might wonder, if that's the case, still I don't understand why they would focus on such a small source of emissions when they could focus on these bigger issues like coal emissions. And the answer there is that green, those environmental groups have discovered it's very difficult politically to go after that coal power groups in the United States or China. There are already infrastructures and societies built up around that coal power. On the other hand, the oil sands is an area of increasing production. And so those environmental groups have found that it's easier to target new production, new infrastructure, new pipelines that don't yet have a built-in uh, set of supporters. And you can see this evolution in the environmental groups thinking in which projects they protest at climate protests, climate marches, etc. So in 2009, most of the climate protests were focused on coal, getting rid of coal. But environmental groups didn't have as much success with that as they wanted to. So by 2011, they'd switched to focusing on the Keystone XL pipeline. 